I'd just like to uh, <clears throat> comment on nice gentleman, Danny Christie. I agree with him. Darren has been doing nothing actively to support his message, choose a life, not a knife. Basically, I think it's just his hustle, you know, to get the ready in. Well, I know it is. But do you? Are you donating to him? Because I fucking ain't. You don't donate to somebody who goes on social media and names every drug dealer in, in Liverpool. How can you do it? You can't. I'm having a channel soon and I'll interview people. But I'll make it clear to them. You do not talk about no one on my video unless they give you permission and they phone me or they are you can if they are passed away but other than that you talk about yourself but i go back to dad and g yeah choose your life not a knife he's coming on his podcast i don't know three four times a week he come on eight week eight, every night for eight nights rolling up to christmas He's got his Instagram signed in. He's got his um, TikTok signed in. And his YouTube. And on his YouTube, his PayPal pal's account there. On his Instagram, his PayPal account's there. On his TikTok, his PayPal account's there. And he's getting gifted. Because they buy gifts on TikTok and send you them. He was, I heard him the other night, he got 97 diamonds and someone threw specs on the face. Well, the specs about 17 99. I was watching one of his lives because I usually go in because I'll end up saying something abrupt and they'll block me. So I've got an, an, an idea, what to go in, just sit there and watch to see what he's saying. And all he's doing is coming on the internet and saying, choose a life, not a, choose a, choose a, life, not a knife. But, what else is he doing constructive about it? Why? Well, he can, I assume he can't go to schools because the nature of his events. Or oh, he's rehabilitated now and he's been out six years. He's got no offences um, towards kids in any way. <clears throat> and I believe he's not a threat to kids. But, he should be at schools talking you know, doing something active and positive. I agree with Danny totally. It's time he brought this message forward. Because the way I see it, it's his hustle. All he's done is stood in two town centres for an hour and hand out a few leaflets. And when people get 50 yards down the street, choose your life, not a knife, they throw that on the floor. Now I agree. I agree. That you shouldn't use knives, mate. You know, I'm at that age now, 54. I, I don't want to fight. I just want to get on with the few years I've got left in my life. But you know, Dad and G, he's called everyone on social media a nonce. I'm not going to name them because it'll take me half an hour. He's called them all the grass. And he's the only fucking grass. Because there's a cold of honour. I've got a friend who's doing life for a murder. He didn't commit because he wouldn't name the people. And that's what you do. You know the score. And, and he's uh, slating everyone. He's going on about all the drug dealers, sucking Williams. What the fuck's he on about? This crab, this guy is a cuckoo. Cuckoo. Now, you know, you may think you think I'm cuckoo. But I know what it is. It's his usual. I'm not fucking cuckoo. I may look cuckoo. But all there. I'm not fucking daft. I've lived in Liverpool for 54 years. In the back seats. So what do you expect? A wise man. Shrewd man. Clever man. Dad and G. A hustler. There you go folks. But Danny Christie. Respect for your message my friend. Say so you can read it, bro.